Would you believe me if I said that it's possible to recreate an iOS app that is making $80,000 a month all using AI? And the crazy thing without writing a single line of code. You see, a lot of people are scared to use AI and they don't know where to start. But if you follow what I'm about to show you, I promise you, you'll be ahead of 99% of builders. We're going to go from testing your app idea using Google AI Studio, designing it with Figma, coding it and creating an app icon using Google Anti-Gravity, and finally uploading it to the App Store. This is the exact formula I use to build a real profitable app that generates revenue every month. So here's a couple of steps that we're going to do to build this iOS application and in the end you'll be able to upload it into the iOS app store. But the first thing we need to do is to go and find the app idea. And we have the app idea. It's a coin identifier AI scanner app. And this app over here is making $80,000 a month. So quick disclaimer over here, we're going to be attempting to recreate this app over here that is making this amount. So it's not going to mean that if we're going to recreate this app, we're going to make $80,000 ourselves. To make an amount like this, this requires a lot more than just coding an iOS application. This requires a lot of marketing, a lot of SEO optimization, and a lot of other things. But this is the app that we're going to try to recreate. You can identify a coin by scanning your coin, and then it gets all the information about your coin. And as you can see over here, this has more than 2,000 ratings, so you can definitely see that there is a big market for this app. Now that you have your validated app idea, it's time to go and test it. And this over here is very important, because before building your app, you want to make sure that this app is an app that you can actually create. So you want to make sure that it's a good app idea, and it's simple to build. And we could test that by using using Google AI Studio. So this thing over here, Google AI Studio is totally free. So you don't have to worry about paying for a subscription or running out credit. Everything over here is free. And the reason why this is important is because you can go and test out as many app ideas as you want. So what we can do is take our app idea and try to recreate it inside Google AI Studio. So you want to open your browser and then go inside Google AI Studio and go inside the build tab. And this is what you want to write. Build me an app where the user can send an image of a coin and then the AI analyzes that coin. And then it sends back all the information about that coin along with the estimated price. So as simple as that, and then you want to click the build button over here. Now Google AI Studio will be creating this application for you. It's going to code everything live in front of you. Okay, so it looks like it finished. And then I'm going to put this into full screen. So here's our application over here is saying identify any coin and over here, click to upload or take a photo. So here's an image of a coin over here. This is the $1 coin in Canada. So I'm going to take this picture and then upload it and see what happens. I selected the picture. And then if I click identify coin over here, let's see what's going to happen. Okay, we have this beautiful loading animation over here. Okay, cool. So we have the result over here. It's saying this is a Canadian $1 Looney coin. It's saying the estimate value over here is from 74 cents to $5. So I'm guessing this is US dollars. 74 cents makes sense for $1 Canadian. And then we have all this information over here, the type of metal, the diameter, the weight, the status, if it's verified or not. I guess over here to know if it's a real coin or not. And then the description over here and the historical context. So this is actually pretty crazy. And one prompt, we created this app that is making $80,000 a month and one single prompt and Google AI Studio. Okay, now that we know that this creation of this app is not complicated, we know that Google AI Studio created it in one prompt. We can go and try to build it on iOS now. But first, the important thing over here before coding is to go and mock up your design over here. And this over here is a very important step. You don't want to skip it. And we're going to be using Figma to do all this mock-up and wireframe design. So over here, why do we need a wireframe or a mock-up? Because this is going to be like the plan for your application. Because when you're coding with AI, the more information you can provide, the more it's going to be happy and output better results. So the wireframes design that we're going to be creating, they're going to be key essential information for your AI. And that is going to act like the plan to build your iOS application. So now you're going to go inside Figma and create a brand new document and then click the frame tool over here, click on your screen, and then make sure to set it as iPhone 16 Pro. And then what you want to do is this very important step. You want to go inside your browser and then go on the app store and take a screenshot of all the images of your app. And then you want to send that inside Figma. So you're going to put it over here. And now that you have all these images, you can take this as an inspiration. So you want to go inside your frame and then you want to take the pencil over here and then start wireframing your design. And over here, we want to keep it really simple. We're not going to go for a full design. It's going to be basically a skeleton design. So over here, we can have a view over here that's going to let the user take a picture. So this is going to be the camera view. We could have a button over here to take the picture and over here, maybe a section to import from photos. And now for the second page over here, after the user takes a picture, we could have a nice loading animation that tells the user that the AI is analyzing your coin. So we could have the picture over here, just put it in the center. And then over here, have some text to let the user know that the AI is analyzing the coin. And then for the final page, over here, we could have the results. So if we look at the picture over here, we can see that it has the image on top and then all the information down below. So what we can do over here is the same thing, have the image on top and then have all the information about that coin. So here it is. It's a simple three page app. The first page, the user takes a picture or import from photos. And then the second page over here, it's a simple loading animation over here that we can have. While
while the AI is analyzing and identifying the coin. And then the file frame over here is the results page. On top, we show the image that the user took. We show the estimate value, the rarity, and then more information about that coin. So it's as simple as that. You don't want to overcomplicate it. You want to keep it like this. And now finally, we can go on to the next step, which is coding with AI. And this is the moment we've all been waiting for. And over here, as you know, we code native iOS apps with Xcode over here, but we're not going to be doing the coding. We're going to be using one of these tools over here to code with AI. And in this case, we're going to be using anti-gravity because we're going to be using Gemini 3.0. This is Google's latest AI model and we want to go and test it out. We want to see if it's actually working well and building iOS applications. And the steps that we're going to be using to build with AI is three steps over here. And the first step over here is to go and build the UI. This is very important because when we're coding with AI, we don't want to just dump everything onto the AI model and just ask to build everything. If we do that, it's probably going to work, but it's not going to do the best job. So we want to segment the work into different steps. First, we're going to ask the AI to build the UI. And then if we're happy with the UI, then we can ask the AI model to do all the core logic. And in our case, it's going to be calling an AI model to analyze that coin. So the first thing you want to do is to go inside Xcode and create a new project and then click app over here. Click next. Over here, you can call it whatever you want. We can call it coin AI. Make sure the interface is set as Swift UI and you can leave everything the same. Click next, then click create. And here is our brand new project, but we're not going to be coding over here. Now we want to go and open anti-gravity. So after it's open, you want to go and open your new project. You want to find the same folder coin AI. Nice. Now we have our iOS project opened and anti-gravity. Now we could start coding with AI. But before that, we're going to do a very important step. You can go over here and start prompting with anti-gravity, but it's probably not going to do the best job because you don't have an agents.md file that is specific to iOS. And I created the best agents.md md file for ios i spent a lot of time on this and you can get it for free inside my school community just go inside classroom and then click ios agents.md and then download this file so after it's downloaded you want to go back inside anti-gravity and then drag this new file inside your project and as you can see over here we have so many rules that's going to help the ai create the best ios application over here we're telling the ai that they have to act like a senior staff engineer at apple creating ios apps that needs to create the best code with the best architecture you don't have to go through this entire file but just know that i spent a lot of time creating this file over here to guide the AI to create the best iOS applications. Now we can go finally and start prompting anti-gravity to start building with AI. But before we forget, this is very important. You want to go back inside Figma, take a screenshot of your entire wireframes over here, and then you want to send it back inside anti-gravity. So now that we have the image over here, we can start prompting. And this is what you want to write. Create a coin identifier app that uses AI to analyze the coin and send back information about it. For now, only build the UI and UX. We will implement the AI logic later. Use my wireframes to build the app. Create a beautiful modern design. So over here, like we said, we're going to be building the UI first. And then over here, I sent my wireframes and then I asked the AI to look at the wireframes and then build the app like that. So it's as simple as that. And then over here, you want to click this button over here and make sure that you selected Gemini 3 Flash, the newest model from Google AI. And then you want to click the send button over here. Now, Google Anti-Gravity will be creating this entire application for you. And the first thing it's going to do is going to go and look at agents.md, understand it, and then build the UI for us. Okay, cool. So it looks like Anti-Gravity finished. You want to go back inside Xcode and then click the run button over here. And here it is or iOS coin AI app over here it's saying camera not available and simulator it makes sense because this is a simulator it doesn't have a camera and what we can do is click the import button over here so if I click on it then select the same coin that we selected on Google AI studio then we see this beautiful animation that is saying that AI is identifying your coin now let's see if we're going to go inside the result page and here it is we have our beautiful result page over here where we have the top section over here where it shows our image then we have the estimated value the rarity and then about this coin and all the technical specifications so this is really cool and one prompt we got this beautiful app that is working super well but the thing over here these are all fake data as you can see it's saying usa 1913 and then this coin name over here that i don't know it's saying estimated value 3 million to 4.5 million this is definitely not the correct data because this is all fake data but it's expected this is what we asked the ai to do we asked it to only focus on the ui now but now we can go and implement the ai so you want to go back inside anti-gravity and this is what you want to write great now implement the ai by using gemini to identify the coin Make sure that you look up the latest AI implementation and AI model so that you don't make any mistakes. As simple as that. And now you want to click the send button over here. And now anti-gravity will implement all the AI logic for you by looking up the latest documentation on how to do that. Okay, it looks like anti-gravity finished and now we can go and test out our application. But first, there is an important step over here. It's saying that we have to add our API key and it's saying that for this application, we have to add inside environment variables under schema over here. So this is very 
simple, nothing to worry about. The first thing we need to do is to get our API key from Google Gemini. So what you want to do is to go back inside Google AI Studio. And then over here, you want to go down below and click get API key. And then on top on the right, you want to click create API key and then name your API key. Let's call it coin AI. Select your cloud project. If you don't have one, then just create one. If you have one, then just select one and then click create key. Now that you create this key, you want to copy it, go inside Xcode. And then over here on top, you want to click your app and then click on edit schema and then go inside environment variables and then click the plus button and then write Gemini API key. And then over here for the value, you want to copy paste your value. And this is the API key that you got from Google AI Studio. And then that's it. You have your API key set inside your Xcode project and then you can close this model over here. So here it is, the same iOS app, but now let's see if it can identify a coin using AI. So I'm going to select the same coin over here and then we have this beautiful animation page. Now it's going to use AI to identify the coin over here. Now let's see if we can get the right information for this Canadian coin. And here it is. Our results page is saying the Canadian dollar a loony. It's saying the estimated value is $1 and this is very good because this is a $1 coin. And then the rarity is common because this is a dollar that everyone has. And then we have all this information about this coin over here, the technical specification and all this thing over here. So this is really cool. As you saw in just a couple of prompts, we create this iOS application over here that can analyze the coin and then send back really accurate information about it. And this app over here is making $80,000 a month over here, as we can see. And we recreated this iOS application and just a couple of prompts. And now all that is left to do is to go and upload this app onto the iOS app store. One important note over here, if you want to upload apps on the iOS app store, you need to pay $100 of membership fee. I know it kind of sucks, but this is what Apple requires. Any person that wants to upload apps, they have to pay this amount over here for the Apple developer membership account. And this is a requirement. It is not optional. Another requirement to send your iOS app onto the app store, you need to create an app icon. And for this, we could go inside anti-gravity and create it on the fly. So go back inside anti-gravity and this is what you want to write. Create me an iOS app icon that is 1024 by 1024. Do not code, just give me the image and then click the send button over here. And here it is, our beautiful app icon over here. So you want to click on it and then on the tab over here, you want to do right click and then reveal and finder and then copy this image over here and then open back Xcode and then you want to click the assets file over here and then paste in your image and all of these boxes over here. And now finally, we can go and upload this onto the iOS app store. So you want to go on top over here, click on product and click archive and then click distribute app. Make sure that you selected app store connect, click distribute again. Let's modify the name over here to be safe so it doesn't conflict with some iOS apps live on the app store right now. I'm just going to write my name beside it, but you can write whatever you want. Click next. And now it's going to prepare and upload your app into app store connect. So essentially app store connect is the first phase for you to get your app into the iOS app store. This is where you'll have to put all your information about your app, upload screenshots and do all the necessary things before getting your app onto the iOS app store. Okay, great. So it's saying coin AI has uploaded successfully on app store connect. So click this arrow button over here and this is going to open app store connect for us. Just make sure to log in. After you're logged in, you want to click on apps and here it is your coin AI app. And now you want to click on it. And now here's your dashboard. Like I said, you have to upload your screenshot, add all your app information and all of the necessary things to upload your app. And then after you do all that, you want to click this button over here, add for review. But in my case, because I didn't fill in anything, then I'm getting all these errors over here that are saying that I have to fill in all this information over here. But in your case, if you had fill in all the information, then your app is going to be sent into review. And then a reviewer from the iOS team is going to look at your app, test it, make sure that everything is correct. And then if everything is correct, your app is going to be on the app store. And that is all to it. Make sure to join my school community where you can get your agents.md file. That's going to help you create iOS applications much faster. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.